Well, hello and welcome back to JP Gaming and Farming Simulator 22. We are back on the frontier and uh, today, well, we're going to start off by just picking up some fertilizer because for some reason I have those new containers and with some things they work, with some other things they don't. So I can, for instance, I can load up my, uh, my cedar with no problem. That one works. Uh, but my actual fertilizer spreaders it doesn't work with those I have no idea why but that's just how it is so uh, yeah we are gonna be picking up all of these bringing them back so we can fill those up the fertilizer is actually going right now and fertilizing our field and today we are going to we're going to test out using two harvesters when we harvest our field which is going to be real interesting and hopefully it's going to go real fast as well we'll see and because yeah it, it all depends on if i can actually make it make it work <laughs> but yeah i i have high hopes i've watched some uh youtube videos and uh, read a little bit about it online so i think i think i know what to do and then of course we are going to be uh, yeah we're going to be harvesting and seeding everything up again we're going to do some new courses for our course play and we have done the first harvest so we are probably going to sell off all of our soybeans today as well i haven't looked into making that uh, oil yet that soybean oil that would be interesting but what i am thinking about is maybe I should start doing some other grain on another field because I'm thinking after I've sold off all the soybeans this time we're gonna have a bunch of money and I'm thinking I might buy another field for that money and we probably should use that field for you know something new so we don't just continue making soybeans everywhere. I mean, sure, it's fun and I like making soybeans. Uh, but yeah, there's not a lot of room for expansion or for making the supply chain longer and therefore making more products that takes more time and more energy and therefore are more, more valuable. Uh, so I was thinking about maybe uh, maybe I should start making some wheat and we could make some bread out of that maybe. Maybe get a bakery or something like that. Or maybe I should make some corn. Although if we start making corn then I'm going to need a whole bunch of other equipment as well. We're going to need a whole new header at least. I don't know if we can use the harvesters we have or is it a specific harvester for just those? Don't know but I'm gonna look into it. I, I'm thinking wheat to begin with and make some maybe we'll make some bread or maybe we just make some make some wheat and also have some cows and then we can make some cheese and milk and other stuff. Oh! Damn. Gotta watch out for them deer are running around here. But yeah, that is what we're gonna be doing today. All right, so it is harvest season. Wonderful to see. Are you? Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys about this little thing. I think I forgot to tell you about it at least. Uh, but I put this garage out here because I needed a place to service, well, well, these vehicles, my harvesters, because they are way too big to get into the garage that was at the back of that building. So yeah, I had to, had to get another one for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get, get this to work with two vehicles now. I'm gonna just drive this in here a little bit and set this up right about here then i'm gonna stop that we're gonna switch to the next one which oh my i think this one looks it just looks so cool with the red and the black i don't know what it is but i oh shit <laughs> i gotta be more careful though 
Maybe I shouldn't have this parked over here. So yeah, I'm gonna set this up and we're gonna see if I can get this going. Okay, so I, th I think this is it. I think we don't need to do anything else than this. I've just set it to two tools. We want two number of headlands. Start working on headlands, smooth corners up and down, yeah, all of that. So this one is going to be going on the left of this. And that one is going to be going on the right of this line. We're not going to be going on the line anymore. We're going to be going on the side of it. Okay, so we got that saved. Then I think we can go to this one. Load course. And set this one to not left, but right. Press play. And it's gonna start. And then this one on left. Press play. It's gonna start. And there we go. <laughs> okay, I'm suspecting I'm gonna have to keep an eye on these because they might they they yeah, they might mess up. Something might happen. But for now, it seems like everything is working as it should. They're driving around like I want them to. Making the headlands first. And then they're going to be going into going back and forth and all of that jazz. So yeah, I think to try and like just optimize this as much as we can. Which is the, which is the idea of all of this. We are going to go into this one and we're going to scroll all the way out. We are going to have to turn around here somehow. We're getting there. We'll see. Now it's going to... No, 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 no. It's twisting and stuff. Okay. Not the smoothest, but that is done. I'm going to just drive into the field and create job. Field work. Open that. We have one tool, 30.5, one number of headlands, headland smooth, yada, and generate field work. Okay. And now we can see those, uh, the harvesters are coming up here now. So I think it is a good time to start this now before they get here. I'm hoping all of this is going to work like I wanted to. It seems to be working. Okay. It's moving like it should. It's going 18 kilometers an hour. And those are going faster, so... Everything should be fine. Damn, I should take a... Screenshot of that. How do you hide the hood, by the way? Isn't that a thing? Isn't there a button for that? I gotta check that out. So we should have just made one headland then. That would have been that. Now these guys are gonna go all the way around once more. I think we're gonna be fine though. I think we can still let this run. But yeah, I might redo this. So they don't do that. <laughs> or I might change my cedar to do two headlands as well. Because then we would also... And we would actually have a lot of space for that big, big cedar to turn around and stuff. And that would be, that would be quite nice. Oh yeah, and then if I do two headlands, then I could probably start up my uh, roller like straight away as well. And that would make it even more efficient. That's exactly what we want. We want to get that efficiency. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna let this run for a bit and see how everything goes but it looks like it's going quite well these needs to be topped off pretty soon so i'm gonna get the track uh the truck out and we're gonna do that that's gonna be interesting as well but yeah i'll uh i'm gonna keep on harvesting and then i'll see you in a bit okay so seeding is on the way and rolling is now also on the way the cedar for some reason wanted to start at the other end though so I made the headlands and then one more row and then I had to stop it and yeah, pause it for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, now it's now it's up and running again. 
and I hope that the roller is going to start rolling at the other end as well so they don't crash. I hope so, but we'll see. Okay, so we got everything seated and now we just need to roll and then also wait a day so we can fertilize. And I am thinking with the next load of money that we're going to get, I think we are I think we are going to buy another piece of land with that. Because it feels like all the equipment I have right now, it's working quite well. Well, when I actually use it properly. Come on, get out of there. Oh my god, don't tell me this is too wide to get through here. Come on. Oh, okay, I might... <laughs> really hope a train isn't coming right now. Backing this thing up is not easy. Oh my god, I'm panicking. Ah, I need to get down. There's no train coming, right? No, no train. Okay, I'm gonna have to fiddle with this to try and get this out of here. Okay, I think I finally got it out. Now we know not to do that. Well, I'm gonna just fill this up and then put it to the side and uh, do the rolling. Then we can get to the fertilizing and... Uh, then sell off all of our crops and see how much money we're actually getting from this. Okay, so now it is June. We have uh, everything planted and fertilized as it should. So we're going to go and sell off all of our crops. And I think we got a little bit less this time than we did last time. And uh, well, yeah, there were some patches that we didn't get. So yeah, the... It, it would be like logical that we got a little bit less this time. I think last time we got something like 548,000. And this time we got about 331 plus a little bit of little bit extra there. That is still quite a good amount. <laughs> so I'm not complaining. So yeah, we're going to go over here now to the railway and we're going to sell it off. The price was the best at the railway with some margin. So I'm at least going to do like I did last time. We're going to fill all of this up and we're going to fill up the train as much as we can and not crash like that. That was on me. Sorry for that. And I'm thinking I'm going to do the same as I did last time. We're going to fill up one train filled to the brim see how far away is it 4.9 kilometers 5 kilometers it's getting further away that's not good but yeah we're gonna fill up a train as much as I can and after that we will take the rest and we'll sell it at the place that was over there because they had like the they were like third on the price list oh this place looks nice I don't stop enough to like look at the actual scenery I mean, the people that make these maps, they they make so much detail in everything, and it's so nice. Should really, like, appreciate it more. It looks like a dam or something. Maybe that's for, like, catching logs or something. That would be great for that. If, I'm, if I were to be selling logs. Caution. Keep out of water. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I could, uh... Drop a whole bunch of logs into the river and use the river transport logs down to here. Then they wouldn't go further. Maybe that one or two would slip by. Cause yeah, I think. I mean, I am gonna, I am gonna keep on farming and I'm gonna do some other stuff as well. I am going to uh, start with the uh, wheat and or something else. I'm gonna grow something that I can then buy like a factory and make into something else that is making us more money <laughs> bread seems to be a, a good commodity but we'll see what i'll do i'm gonna have to take a decision on that quite soon but yeah logging logging would be fun to try out just so i can say that i have tried it out is that a crane moving over there that is a crane moving over there and here comes the train okay yeah i'm gonna go in here and it looks like everything is opened that's noise uh and yeah i'm just gonna fill this up and sell it off and we'll see how much we make this time
And there we go. Now that train is fully filled up and we'll just have to drive it out of here and sell all of this off. And I, I wonder how much we're going to get this time. Because I think the price was better this time. We got something like 1.8 million last time or something like that, right? Almost 1.9. Huh. Yeah, okay. So we got about the same, actually. Get into our truck. Fill it up with the rest that we had in here, which was 80,000 liters. Okay, so we got about 111,000 liters left we're gonna go and sell that off and then see what will be the overall price that we're gonna get for all of this and we got about four hundred thousand more for that wonderful to see so yeah i'm thinking maybe we should buy a little bit more land now and i am thinking of like, should I have all my land outside of the walls? Or should we maybe buy some land inside the walls? I guess, uh, I think I'm going to be doing all of those purchases in the next video. So, until then, I'll just have to say thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, like I've said previously, if you have any ideas and any thoughts on what I'm doing or anything like that, drop it down in the comment. Uh, comments. I should say. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. See you next time. Oh, bye bye.